The microbit is a microcomputer that can be programmed or coded. It has LEDs, programmable buttons, and is packed with different sensors, like a compass, thermometer, accelerometer, which measures movements like a Fitbit, a speaker, and even a microphone. To create code for a microbit, we go to the makecode.com website and choose the microbit picture. We can then choose to create a new project where we need to give it a name. This then will load up the microbit project editor. Let's take a quick tour around the microbit project editor. On the left hand side, we have our microbit simulator. So this is a virtual microbit that plays our code. So when we create code, this is where we see it happen. Just to the side of the simulator is the toolbox where we have all our different code blocks. So we have basic, input, music, LED, radio, loops, logic, variables, and math. We even have some advanced toolbox to let us do more things. And we can also add in extensions that have prepackaged blocks that we use for different things. On the right hand side is the code area. And this is where we drag and drop our code blocks to create our programs. So say we wanted to program one of the buttons on the microbit, so the button A, we would go into the input toolbox and get a on button A pressed block, and we would get it to say hello. So go into the basics toolbox and get a show string hello. So it'll take a couple of seconds just to refresh the simulator with our code. And once we click on the button A, it will run our code and we it will scroll across hello. Now you'll notice that the microbits can only display one character at a time. So the, the letters get scrolled across the screen. When we are programming microbits, we have three different options. We can code using the code blocks by dragging and dropping them into the code area, or we can switch to either JavaScript or Python, which are textual programming languages. To switch to these, we simply click on the option we want and the code area changes to show the language that we have selected. So here we, we've selected JavaScript and it's showing our code that we created in the blocks in JavaScript. We can even change the code if we want and switch back to the blocks and we'll see our code updated. This is a great way to start learning about textual programming languages such as JavaScript. You do not need to have a microbit to create code and projects. You can create code and just use the simulator to run your code. But if you do have a microbit, you can send and load your code onto it using a USB cable that connects your computer to your microbit. Then you just need to download your code as a file onto your computer and then send it to your microbit using the USB cable. The file will then be sent to your microbit where you can test it out in real life. Apart from powering the microbit using a USB cable, there are two other ways. You can use a USB power bank and a USB cable, and you can also use a special microbit power pack that takes two AAA batteries and plugs in a separate port.